Guys, what's up? This is Chani SK, SAP FICO as for HANA Finance and MM China. Today I'm going to discuss about SAP controlling product costing. Um, this is the second video and the topic is product costing integration by Chani SK. If you are completely new to this channel and watching my videos first time, please subscribe right now and hit the bell icon. Let's move on to the topic. In the last session, I clearly explained what is the product costing and you can have a look at uh, this video in the comment box I just uploaded. And uh, here the product costing is nothing but the cost of the product, the estimating, estimating the cost of the product is referred as a product costing. And uh, this product costing definitely helpful to um, calculate COGS, uh, COGS means cost of goods sold and the cost of goods sold manufacture. Okay, and uh, also I explained uh, in the last session so objectives of the product costing. So uh, this product costing helpful to determine the cost of the product or service. And also it's determine the details of the cost of the product. And it is helpful to the management to take in the um, decision making. And um, so for valuation of the inventory and work in progress, this product costing is very helpful. How the COGS we can calculate. So material cost and also we need to add product cost and process cost then overhead we will get the COGM cost of goods material manufactured and uh, once you add the sales and admi administration to COGM then you will find the COGS okay now this is the main topic uh, today I'm going to discuss what is the uh, what is the product costing integration So in order to learn the product costing, um, so we should aware other modules also. This uh, involves cross module work. And here you can see material management and production planning and SAP CO module is mandatory. So in order to learn the product costing, in CO product costing is a sub module. And uh, here in the manage material management, we should aware what is the uh, material master records and purchase info records. So these two are very important for us to learn the product costing. And in the PP module, we should aware what is bill of material, routing and work centers. And these are the master data of um, SAP PP. And here the cost center accounting. So we should aware the cost centers and its linkages with the work centers and activity types, activity wise cost centers. Uh, definitely helpful in determining conversion cost. And uh, completely associated with the manufacturing process. So here the result from the product costing can also provide useful information for various SAP modules and you can see this uh, result the product costing results definitely helpful to other modules also helpful to material management for uh, material and stock valuation and it is helpful to SD module and the cost object controlling for calculation of variances and work in progresses. This is the, um, the topic guys product costing is uh, um, not an easy topic. It is uh, somehow difficult, but uh, because you know uh, there are some of the manufacturing activities, uh, so there are different kind of scenarios will be there. So we need to understand the business process of SAP uh, CO and uh, CO level as well as the business process of the client level, how the manufacturing process will be carried out, and what are the uh, material cost, labor cost, and other costless expenses and uh, other things will be involved. So these are all things we should aware, then uh, we should uh, need to know what is the product costing integration also. Um, in order to learn uh, this product costing integration, we should uh, um, aware other modules also. So material management and production planning and cost centers, accounting. So um, uh, and SD module also very required. So it helpful to SD module also. So thank you so much uh, for your support. Um, this is Tony SK signing off.